Uh, hi, I'm Arthur, and today I think it's time I start delving into my own theory crafting rather than coast on the pre-existing lore of 40k. You know, add to the discourse a little bit and see what can be spoken about. And you know what's something I'm super passionate about? Fucking dwarves? It helps me fill up my Xeno quota and keeps me from having to speak about Eldar a little bit longer. So yes, we are once again talking about the leagues of Votan, which is awesome because I like them and also I am not above capitalizing on a trend. Thanks CA, I love them. So with the Chaos Dwarves coming out in Total Warhammer soon, it got me thinking, is it possible for the Leagues of Votan to fall to Chaos? No, not really. No, it says pretty succinctly in their lore that they have very little chances of falling to the Ruinous Powers. But, if it were possible, how would it happen? The Kin themselves are genetically created to have weak souls intentionally to ward away uh, corruption and chaos, which I think is neat. It is a way to avoid getting got by the ruinous powers. But call me a contrarian to point at the lore and go, fuck you, I'm right, GW, give me pointy dwarves, because that's essentially what I'm saying. Deadass, if they release chaos squats, I'm so far in that kin ass that the person that pulls me out is going to be crowned the king of fucking England. The kin having intentionally weak souls, and the iron kin being robots, is it actually possible for them to fall to chaos? And the answer is maybe. The individual kin themselves as they are now is very, very unlikely. But why? So to go in depth and kind of give you an idea, chaos goes after the souls that burn the brightest. So the more psychically resonant and the more psychically active a species is, the more likely chaos is to want to approach them and, you know, get them. So psychic races like the Eldar are like a burning bonfire. Meanwhile, for human beings, it's like they're a torch in the dark. So all of them are appetizing to chaos, but some are less so and the Votan, or rather the kin under the Votan, are that way. So to go a little bit more in depth even further, they do have psychers, the Grimnir, which have several purposes for their existence, the main one being to interface with the Votanic core themselves when they need to retrieve information. They can call upon psychic energies, similar to most psychers, but they still have a significantly weaker soul. The way it's described in lore is that where a regular psyker, as I described before, is a bright light, a torch, if you will, in the dark, a Grimnir is a hooded lantern, able to close off the light in controlled bursts, even if it is a bit of a, a weaker flame. Which is a good analogy. They are a relatively safe psyker with bird guns that can absorb the negative feedback of the warp. In game, this basically means they can kill a bird rather than take D3 mortal wounds if they fuck up a psychic test. Which is a good option. So, there are psychers, but they aren't really capable of falling to chaos because they still have a diminished, weakened soul. So, how could they fall to chaos? It is kind of odd, but follow me on this. So, when a kin is killed or is about to reach the end of their life, they are brought forth to the Votanic core and reabsorbed as an organic resource to be used. Their knowledge and information is essentially brought to the core's storage banks for future Grimnir to be able to access. With that in mind, they are consuming the memories, the bodies, and the entire essence of these kin. So, what if the core themselves somehow functioned like a mechanical demon of sorts? Not like a chaos demon in this instance, but what if they gained the emotional capacity of those they absorbed, as well as their souls? A single dim match in the dark will not really do much, but after a thousand of them fuckers are brought together, these Votan could essentially be a bonfire of spiritual energy. A decent example as to how this could occur, how a league could fall to chaos, is this, where there was once a minor league named... Okay, how the fuck do you even say that? I like to think I'm pretty good at pronouncing words, but though some people did get a little upset how I pronounced Karn's name initially, but, but that is just... Okay, so that league itself was beset by Tyranids. 
This is the old world interpretation of how the squats ended up dying. So all the kin in this league died to protect their Votan, but as a cruel twist of fate, it turns out the Tyranids did not give a single shit about the core itself. They drained the planet, left the core, and then the core went fucking insane. In lore, it's even called the Mad Core, driven insane by the pain and suffering of the kin it once watched over, and the loneliness of it not having anything to interact with. Kin in the modern day are warned not to go near the location, because the core itself is insane, and it causes a lot of unnerving bad omens to occur upon the Votanic vessels that they have. So the core itself is a sentient enough being to experience these emotions of empathy, sadness, grief, and insanity, which kind of helps my theory that if a Votanic core was able to gain a strong enough soul from the compartmental parts of small weak souls, then Perhaps the core itself could fall to chaos. It's not out of the realm of possibility. When you have minor chaos gods and demigods based around corrupting the machine spirits of advanced technology. So say something like Vashtor finds the mad core then corrupts it. Perhaps it could fire up the clone vats again in its foundries and make new clone schemes with more unstable and brightly burning souls. These kin could take the idea of a grudge band far beyond what is acceptable and vow to kill the Tyranids, as well as the kin that didn't help save them from the Tyranids when they were invaded. They could worship this core as if it were some sort of god, giving it a new name. I, I don't know, maybe something catchy like Heshut? That sounds about right. The new technology being created there could be less stable, but more violently powerful. Using the new resource they have collected of souls and demons to make engines of war that are fueled by good old dwarven ingenuity, as well as some chaos magical bullshit. Hell, you could do a callback to the old chaos dwarves where if they use chaos magic, in this case chaos psychic abilities too much, they could slowly turn into stone. Cute little mech suit for these little rocky boys. I think that could be cute as fuck. But this is all a theory. And is it going to happen? Fuck no. But it is a bit of a pipe dream, methinks. I think it could be pretty fun. Because chaos squats were a thing in the lore. And if the planet being eaten by Tyranids is still canon, then them fuckers should still be around. Albeit, if I remember correctly, Chaos Squats in the original lore worked with Horus during the Horus Heresy. So maybe that asshole Abaddon has a few stunties kicking around? But that is just an idea I am proposing. What do you guys think? Do you think the Chaos League should be a thing? Let me know in the comments. I genuinely want to know. As per the usual, like and subscribe, because I'm going to inevitably cover the leagues again. I love the Short Kings. I mean, think about it. It would be pretty sick seeing the Chaos Leagues of Votan equivalent of the Kadai. That'd be pretty fucking sick. Holy sh... I swear at some point I'm gonna make a dwarf video too far. Like, I feel like someone at some point is going to be upset with me with how often I make a video about the Leagues of Votan. God help you if I ever get into Warhammer Fantasy, I'll just have unlimited content. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed it. Next week, I'll probably try and cover the, the Orcs of the Eldar. Um, and I hope you're there for it. So, thanks for watching again, and until uh, next time.